What's up guys, it's John and Doom with One Big Impact. So today we're going to show you real quick how to create an awesome thumbnail. I have been on a forever, ever, 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 ever journey to try to create great thumbnails. And let's be honest, you probably have too. Look no more, this is going to be the easy way. Now, if you have Filmora Wondershare as a product, that's great. If you don't, I believe there is a free version and you may be able to get away with actually, and it's not an expensive software, super easy. It's not like Adobe, it's not Photoshop, it's not freaking, oh my gosh, those things are so mind nummy. Let's get into it, okay, without further ado. First of all, you're gonna go on the internet or go wherever and choose your background. What's your background gonna be? We are going to basically recreate what you seen as a thumbnail. So. Let's go. We're going to take a couple of things off the internet. And look, here's here's where uh, all you need to do. Go to the internet if you're looking for the background that I have and just type in swirl background. That's literally how you find it. Then you scroll through your pictures and you find where it is. Where is it? Okay, so there it is right there. Boom. It comes up, shows you over here in the project play. You pull it down here. You want it to be your actual image. Then you got to find the image that you're going to overlay over it, which is like an image of you, I would assume. So you're going to go to File, Import. And I just watched somebody's video a couple of days ago, and it had to be the most boring video in the world. <laughs> I mean, it did help, but it's just like, dude, where is your freaking personality? What the heck is going on here? Okay, so mine happens to be over here in the camera roll. I got this picture here. All right, now this picture here, after it loads, I would suggest doing a couple things to the picture first. Actually, shoot, that is not the picture. What am I doing? I switched it. Side tip, whatever your background is, that's why I switched it. Whatever your background is, you need to make sure it's a solid color background um, when you take your photo or else the... The, the thing I'm going to show you is not going to work. Okay, see this? This is going to be my picture. It's got a black background. Cool. Super excited. Yay, that's me. Okay, so pull it down here. And I want you to, this is going to be, if you can see, it's going to be in the project line below the actual background. Okay, right click it. Click, uh, oh, let's see, right click it. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. So delete it drop it down to the regular project line and the reason for that if you can see that the photo doesn't look any good that the, the photo doesn't look that great it's a little bit washed out and stuff right so you want to get edit this go ahead and auto enhance that brings it out a little bit but it's still really bright right so you go here and you click edit and i would say let's see what the contrast does if that does anything yeah it gives a little pop uh brightness let's drag that down a little bit not too much but i think you know maybe there looks good we got the auto enhance on i don't think about a saturation but let's try it yeah maybe a little bit that looks okay a little bit of shadow in here but hey it's not we're not looking for perfect we're looking for grabbing your attention so you got a good photo here right but then you try to pull it down here and it won't go down there Okay, that's cool, no problem, don't worry about it. Push play, make sure it's in there. This little icon right here, snapshot, snapshot, boom, it's in there. Delete your old one, you got a new one, drag that one down to the new thing, get rid of this one. All right, cool, you got two pictures stacked on top of each other, the top one looks good, right? Right, all right, left click, right click green screen tap make parts transparent should pop up right away if it doesn't you want to take the little medicine dropper and click the outside of the picture if I click it now it'll probably make me turn from turning turn ferny blah, blah, blah funny colors actually it won't but if I do it there it will so looks good right cool you can do you can adjust the intensity level if you want to go in more intense if I went more intense clearly I lose some of my head that's probably already a thing, but we can do a lot of different things. So, for instance, shadow, boom. That's kind of interesting, right? 
I mean, that's cool. I won't be doing that. I did actually not know that was there. <laughs> so we'll take that off. And one thing I did use is border. I'm going to put a border around it. Black or white looks kind of funny, so let's change that. You could change it to where it's like a gray. starts out, boom, and gets white, and then gray and black. But you could do it all black, and I think that looks pretty cool. Specifically with this picture, obviously that could be a little bit different um, with something else. Now, you can do flip, you can do gradient direction, you can just mess around with all kinds of things. If you want to, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. So we're going to go cl click OK. Looks good to me, right? Cool. Looks pretty decent. Here's the thing. I want you to get used to doing this. S snapshot. Takes a snapshot. Delete this. We no longer need that. We pull this down here. Now we got a single shot picture. Boom. You see that? Cool. Easy. Simple. We don't need anything but the actual picture. All right? Now we're going to go ahead and add some text to be able to catch somebody's attention. So go in here and you may get, um, remember, these T lines. You can do this in a few different ways. I tend to like to save every time and do the snapshot. Just because if something happens, it's like constantly saving it to my computer somewhere. You can add new tracks because you're probably going to have a certain type of text here, a certain type of text here, maybe something over here or something like that. That's cool. Great. Text tracks, add three. All right. You'll see them pop up. Boom, boom, boom. All right, cool. So you can go like this. You can go, I want a text track here. And maybe I want a different text track here. And, you know, maybe a different text track here. All right. All right. So here's what happens. Edit. Boom. Pops up. I got that delete that and that's going to be up here right there so we're going to say what are we going to say we're actually creating what you already seen <laughs> so how to make whoa apparently i can't spell okay and we'll put this Cock it like that, shrink it down, and we'll pull it over here. Okay, that doesn't work. And that's where you got to kind of screw with this a little bit. It, it, it depends on what looks best for that photo. I don't really like that text. That text looks kind of garbage. So I want to get a little bit more eye-popping text. Let's see here. What do we got? Something to catch people's attention. Remember, this is the name of the game. What can we do to get their attention? Curls. Ooh, I like that, but that's a little bit thin. Maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. We can even do this guy. You have to double click these guys if you want to do an outline or anything. Yeah, cool. See, that looks good. And we can even highlight it and maybe go a little bit bigger, see if that helps. With the thickness, we'll go to 80. I like that. How does that look? I don't like the uh, color, though, because the color doesn't pop enough. Boom. How to make. Let's see. Let's extend a little bit, make a little bit bigger. Save it. Click OK. And these are all your other layers popping up. Probably like, holy crap, what the heck is that? Go to the next one. And then you're going to edit, okay? You don't need to... And you can pull these down, get one out of the way. Get this out of the way. Okay, come on, baby. How to make... We will say amazing. Let's do this. Yeah, buddy. Sorry, guys. This is taking a while. But thumbnails, whatever the heck that is. So I'm going to delete this because this one seems to be annoying right now. 
and we're going to go ahead and remember you kind of have to highlight it. Let's go. Edit. All right. Let's see if we can make that a little bit more poppy. Pop it up. I really like this one right here. This is one of my favorite ones. Boom! How to make amazing thumbnails. Let's see if I can put that in my hand somehow. How to make amazing thumbnails. Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm it down. How to make. <laughs> that looks crazy. I'm not going to do that. But you're getting the gist, right? You get it? You got it. You're good. How to make amazing thumbnails. And we'll just put Filmora Wondershare, okay? You see how it all comes in? You can do periodic saves. Snapshot. Just click snapshot because that way you see it over here. It's in your project line. You don't have to worry about much. You can delete the old one. And you got it automatically saved. So just in case your computer crashes or something like that, you got it in there. Like Flindare. I don't even know what the heck I just said. We got one more. Let's pick one more. Come on. I kind of like that text right there. Boom. Let's go. Edit. Let's get rid of that one. And we will put... Filmora Wondershare. And of course, I always put exclamation points. That's like my extent of my ability to be able to punctuate. <laughs> I appreciate you guys' patience. Let's get finished up. Filmora Wondershare. I don't really like that one. No, 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 no. Of course, I like that one, but that one doesn't. It's too much. Let's see. We'll just do this guy and we'll do something like that. Okay? How to make amazing thumbnails. I don't know if that looks perfect, but I could do. Yeah, I, you know what? I think that looks good. It's just to give you a gist. That took what? A couple minutes? You probably like, dude, that took like 10 minutes. But, okay, I'm being creative on the fly. How to make amazing thumbnails. Few more I wanted to share. Boom, you guys. If you guys like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible and share what I learned along the way. You guys, keep up the good work. Keep making awesome content. If you have any other questions about Filmora or anything else, please ask and put it in the comment section below. Subscribing helps. Please do it. Check out the links in the description below for products I use to make my videos. Peace.